Eight organizations involved in programs addressing HIV and AIDS in Belize received grants from U.S. Ambassador to Belize, Vinay Tumalapali. The ambassador signed a memoranda of understanding with and awarded checks to representatives of the various organizations. The grants totaled $123,308. Ambassador Tumalapali says the funding is provided by the Caribbean Ambassador's HIV Prevention Program. And right here in our neck of the woods, in the Caribbean and Central America, we're facing a catastrophic epidemic. In Belize, the rate of new infections has dropped some. But there, are still, there were still 241 new infections in 2010. Overall, for Belize, an estimated 2.3% of the population is known to be HIV positive, which is the highest rate in Central America and the third highest in the Caribbean. Lecturers in advanced biology at St. John's Junior College in Belize City. Their project will investigate the viability of introducing a formal course on sexual and reproductive health to tertiary level educational institutions in Belize. Focusing on using education as a means to, to spread awareness about HIV and to reduce the spread of HIV and formal education that is meaning classroom activity concerning a course on HIV AIDS as well as reproductive health at the tertiary level specifically. Now, we've seen a, a lot of initiatives to really uh, move the world towards greater globalization and global trade. Uh, we've seen more in the illicit areas take off. Mm -hmm. um, how do you combat uh, a phenomenon like that when it's so widespread and the connections are so deeply rooted in so many uh, varied places? Well, that's a great question. Obviously, it, it does require a level of international coordination, which is being uh, conducted by donors, again, such as the State Department. So we're obviously working, in this case, specifically in the context of Belize. But as a general strategy, you work to conduct institutional strengthening. You work uh, closely with institutions such as attorneys general, uh, courts, and police, uh, helping them to be smarter, more efficient, more effective, to have more information, to have more intelligence in, in a strategic sense mm -hmm. so that they're able to compete with these organizations, these cartels and, and gangs, which are transnational, mm -hmm. uh, which are extremely well-funded, very capable, um, so that the, the law enforcement authorities can compete with them and, and hopefully defeat them.